What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm going to be showing you guys a combo video for a deck that I've actually never shown off here on the channel and big shout out to my boy Alpha who put this deck together. Honestly, I think he created this deck because I've never seen this online or anywhere else before him and Buster Blader is something that he took to locals and came first place in. Now this deck has some absolutely absurd combos and I want to get right into them. I don't want to waste you guys' time. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe because we're on the way to 16,000 subscribers and we're uploading every single day for the month of December. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. And with that being said, let's get right into the combos. So just before we get into the combos, I really want to show you guys what the deck list looks like. Now we're not going to do a full deck profile in this video. If you guys want to see the full deck profile, go check out my boy Alpha's channel because he actually came first place with this exact deck list and it's a really powerful deck list. But what I want to show you guys is kind of what the different engines are and how they all synergize. And then I'm going to get to show you guys that more in detail in the combos. Okay. So for the deck, of course, we're playing the Buster Blader, but the main thing in the deck that you guys want is the Buster Whelp over here. This is kind of like your one card combo and all the combos that I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be Buster Whelp plus any one of the engines. So Buster Whelp plus the Bestial engine, Buster Whelp plus the Branded engine, Buster Whelp plus Instant Fusion even, and then even Buster Whelp plus the Nadir Servant. Okay, so you guys can see there's essentially four different engines going on. You have the Branded engine, the Bestial engine, the Buster Blader engine, and then the Nadir's engine, right? And these four engines all synergize really well. Again, if you guys want more details as to how they all synergize together, you guys can check out Alpha's channel. But I want to kind of show you guys what the deck profile looks like. And then now I can show you guys what the combos are and you guys can kind of see how everything fits in together. So let's get right into the combos. So with every single one of these combos, all you actually need is a Buster Whelp or any way to get to the Buster Whelp because this is actually going to end up getting you to your trap, which gets you to the Fusion Synchro Lock, which I will show you guys here in just a moment. But any one of the engines we're going to start off with instant fusion here any one of these engines is going to make this combo go even further beyond which is absolutely insane in this case we're going to start off with instant fusion because in this case what we're going to do is we're actually going to summon a millenniumize restrict and this is kind of just for more protection for your combo more than anything of course it's going to be used as an extra body for your link summons later but it's really nice because it makes sure your buster whelp resolves so as long as you have the normal summon for buster whelp you can normal summon the whelp activate its effect here and then you're going to be able to search any buster blader card and the card you need to be searching is is your prologue because prologue is going to get all your combos going okay so you're going to get your prologue and this is kind of how all the combos go even if you just open this you have prologue you have the combo but when you have something like instant fusion it goes even further right so here what you can do because you have two monsters you do need a dragon in the graveyard right so of course you have access to something like striker dragon or your protector whelp over here but we're actually going to go cross sheep for this specific scenario and i'm going to show you guys why here but we're going to go cross sheep and then what you're going to do is you're going to set the trap and that's it that's what the board looks like right now. But you guys might be wondering, how is that good? What, what good is this, right? So I'll show you guys what good it is right now. So now when your opponent starts their turn, right? Let's just say, um, I should probably have chain on. Let's say they go ahead and they normal summon a card or they do something, right? Or even in standby phase, you can honestly just do this in standby phase as well. Regardless of how you do this, you're going to go prologue over here and you're going to send the two bricks from your deck. So you're going to send the destruction sword memories and then the vanilla buster blader. Okay. So when you send these two, what this is going to let you do is actually going to let you special summon a buster dragon monster from your extra deck or your graveyard. Okay. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to use this to summon your buster dragon. So now that you have the destruction sword memories in your graveyard you can activate its graveyard effect and its graveyard effect says you can banish this card from your graveyard fusion summon a buster blade of the dragon destroyer swordsman from your extra deck using fusion materials from your graveyard so now you can use this right away okay you have the synchro here you're gonna be able to summon the Buster Blader Fusion over here, and you're gonna to want to summon it to the Car Sheep Zone, okay? The reason you're gonna to want to summon it to the Car Sheep Zone is very specific. It's because you want to be able to use the Car Sheep effect now for the Monster Reborn, right? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the Monster Reborn to summon a Millennium Eyes. So now what have you done? Like I'm gonna show you guys how powerful this is just on your opponent's turn here. So you have a Buster Dragon, which is gonna make all your opponent's monsters dragon monsters, and of course this can be relevant in a lot of decks that require warrior monsters, that require spellcasters, whatever, whatever. They're all dragon monsters, but why? is this even better because now you have your buster blade of the dragon destroyer swordsman and what this does is it changes all dragon type monsters your opponent controls to defense position and they cannot activate their effects so now you have essentially 
made it so that your opponent can attack over your monsters because they're all dragon and they all go to defense position. They're all under skill drain because of the Buster Blader. And on top of that, he gains a thousand attack for each dragon monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. And that's absolutely insane because this ends up becoming an OTK machine for you. So you're setting up a skill drain lock with this combo. And this is the bread and butter combo right over here with just the Buster Well. But because we were able to start with instant fusion, we have the Millennium Eyes as well. And so if your opponent activates a monster effect, it can be in the hand or graveyard. Because keep in mind, Buster Blader only negates monsters your opponent controls which means that if they activate a card effect from their hand it's not a dragon monster yet right or if they activate a card in the graveyard it's also not a dragon monster and you have millennium eyes restrict to negate that as well so that's your first combo over here skill drain lock plus an extra disruption with just the buster whelp and an instant fusion Okay, so now for the second combo over here, you're gonna need your Buster Whelp again, because again, your Buster Whelp is all of your one card combos, but we're gonna go off with the Bistiel engine and we're gonna start off with the Bistiel Lubellion, okay? So what you're gonna do is the standard normal summon your Buster Whelp, and then you're gonna activate it to search the trap card. Because if you have access to Prologue, then you have access to all your combos essentially, right? And of course, this is two card combos. So if you have three other cards in your hand, if they're extenders, if you already have a Prologue in your hand, then this can get negated and you're not worried about it. You can use it as bait. There's so many different ways to access these combos. I just wanna show you guys the most plain and simplistic one, which is just having a Buster Whelp. And then here you can actually use the Lubellion over here. And Lubellion is going to be able to get you a Sarnier to your hand, okay? And it's really important because you, of course, need to end up using the Sarnier here. But first thing you want to do is get the dragon in the graveyard. So you're going to make your Buster Whelp into a Striker Dragon. And then what you're going to do is you're going to activate your Sarnier to banish your Buster Whelp. We no longer need this anymore, but we need to summon our Sarnier. Then what you're going to do is use the Lubellion over here to tribute the Sarnier, summoning the Lubellion, and you're going to be able to trigger their effects, right? So Sarnier is going to be able to trigger here to send a card to the graveyard. And the one you're going to want to send is your Branded Regained. Then you're going to activate the Lubellion and that's going to be able to get you beast to your side of the field. Of course, this is going to be able to get you regained on your end phase, which is really nice. But now what are we going to do with these two monsters? What we're actually going to do is very simple. We're going to make Hieratic Seals over here because Seals is a disruption, which is really powerful. So you're already setting up a disruption here and then you're going to be able to set your prologue. And this is exactly what I mean, where the combos look very, very like not super complicated or anything, but they do so much. So of course, we're going to be able to use a Branded Beast here to get our Branded regained back to our side of the field. And that's really powerful over here, of course, we're going to be able to set these up now on top of this you're going to be able to use your prologue okay you're going to be able to send to the graveyard of course your buster blader as well as your destruction sword memories over here to be able to synchro summon into the buster dragon and then of course what you're going to be able to do is set up the exact same lock over here when you're using the destruction sword over here because destruction sword is going to be able to let you summon this by using the buster blader and of course you can use lubellion or sarnir here let's just use sarnir it doesn't really matter we're just going to be able to use any card here and then we're going to activate the regain here and then what regain is going to do is, is be able to target our banished sarnir and put it back to the bottom of our deck and draw a card okay now what do we have here we have a buster dragon we have a buster blader and then we have the hieratic seals right and now this might not look super crazy but i'm going to show you guys why this is crazy so you already of course have the skill drain lock over here but you also have the hieratic seals now why is hieratic seals important let's say your opponent normal summons a monster right in this case of course we know that this is a dragon let's just say your opponent's not playing the mirror match but it doesn't matter what your opponent summons right you can just hold at this point because you know it's negated anyways but let's just say they get two monsters on the board just for simplicity's sake i'm not gonna be able to do it but i just want to kind of tell you guys how it works let's say your opponent gets two monsters on the board right you go ahead and you activate your hieratic seals of heavenly spheres and you're gonna be able to tribute this so that you can target the buster whelp here bounce it back to their hand and then what you're gonna be able to do is activate the hieratic seal so hieratic Heretic Seal here is going to be able to summon you anything from your deck, honestly. So you could summon the Magnum, of course, to search another Bestial. But you can also, as another form of disruption, because keep in mind, you already drew another card, right? So it kind of fixes that problem. You can summon your Fallen of Albaz. Now, when you summon your Fallen of Albaz, you can then use the Fallen of Albaz effect over here to pitch the card that you drew. And then you're going to be able to super polymerization with your opponent's monster to break their board even further. So you have the Hieratic Seal's Bounds. You have the Fallen of Albaz super polymerization, which can get you into something like a Mirror Jade, which is absolutely insane of course depending on what your opponent has and you have the skill drain lock over here and that's with two cards lubellion and buster well so for the third combo over here i'm going to show you guys how nadir's servant works and this is probably the most complicated of the combos so i'm, I'm going to need you guys to listen up but also i'm going to try to explain it as best as i can because a lot of things are going to be happening all at once with this combo right so you really need to be very observant with this combo and you guys are going to see we have a third card here 
I purposely made the third card a brick, which is a Buster Blader. And that's because you're going to see why this combo can be so powerful, even with the brick in your hand, right? However, because of the need your servant, you're going to need that third card here. So it's a 2.5 card combo. It's not a two card combo because you need any other card that's going to be shuffled back into your deck. Okay. In this case, I'm going to be showing off the brick and why it's so good. But here, of course, we're going to normal summon our Buster Whelp like we do in every other one of the combos. The first thing you want to do, except in the instant fusion combo, because in that combo, you want to make Millennium Ice first so you don't lose the hand trap. But other than that, you're going to be summoning your Buster Whelp and then you're going to be able to get to your prologue. Okay. And then it's very important that before you do anything else, you make a striker dragon. And the reason for that is because once you're using the Dear Servant, you can't get access to your extra deck no longer. And you need the striker dragon on board for a combo that you guys are going to see in a little bit, right? So here, what you're going to do is you're going to activate your Nadir Servant. Now, Nadir Servant is going to be able to send a card to your graveyard. So we're going to send the Sprint and we're going to be able to search our Fallen of Albaz, which is really important here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the prologue. Now, you guys might be thinking, you need to send the Buster Blader from your deck. You can't send it from your hand. And this is why I wanted to show you guys why drawing the brick is actually not bad in this case with the Nadir Servant, because you can play around the brick. We're going to go into end phase here, and a lot is going to be happening in the end phase. We're going to be activating our Sprint over here, and Sprint is going to be able to special summon our Spriggan's Kit from our deck. Now, Kit is going to be able to search a Branded Spell or Trap, so we're going to be able to activate our Kit here to search a Branded and High Spirits. Now, the best part about this effect is you have to put something back into the deck. And what better to put back into the deck than the brick that we don't want in our hand? Of course, you can use any card in your hand. You're going to have five cards in your hand, right? This is a 2.5 card combo because you can put any card back. In this case, we're putting back the brick, right? Now, even still in the end phase, you're going to continue here by activating your Branded and High Spirits. Branded and High Spirits, you're going to pitch your Fallen of Albaz over here. You're going to pitch your Fallen of Albaz, and then you're also going to send an Albion to the graveyard, okay? And we're going to be able to discard the Albaz here, which is also going to search our Mercurier. And Mercurier is very powerful here because it's going to set you up with another form of disruption, which is really nice. Now, we're still in end phase we're going to be able to use our albion and we're going to be able to set our branded in red to our side of the field and that's pretty much kind of how the combo starts out now in our opponent's draw phase standby phase whatever you can of course have access to the prologue over here so let's just do the standard prologue stuff over here we're gonna go prologue we're gonna be able to send aired memories as well as a buster blade to the graveyard and then we're gonna be able to synchro summon a card here so we're gonna synchro summon our buster dragon typical standard this is standard for any of the uh buster player combos of course right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the memories over here and then memories is gonna be able to use your uh buster blader it doesn't really matter which one you use at this point let's just use the buster well to summon this so now you have the skill drain lock but on top of that i want to show you how much further this can even go now you can even use the branded in red of course when you're playing in a real game you're not just going to be shotgunning everything at once i just kind of want to show you guys what the boards can look like because uh, of course a lot of the time you might be waiting for your opponent to activate something to summon something to commit to the board but of course in this case i just kind of want to show you guys what the combos look like right so you're going to target the fallen of albaz get it back to your hand over here once you get the albaz back to your hand you can fusion summon and you can actually make mirror jade right away because you have the striker dragon that's why striker dragon was important earlier because now we can make striker dragon into our mirror jade over here now what do we have we have the skill drain we have the mirror jade of course which can banish a card our opponent controls and we have a mercurier because we have the mirror jade on the board we can actually use the mercurier as a negate so we have a negate with the mercurier a banish with the mirror jade and the skill drain lock right over here with the Buster Blader cards. This is an absolutely insane combo. Yes, it's a little bit complicated, but it's so powerful. So for the fourth and final combo over here, I wanna show you guys what you can do with Branded Fusion. And again, this is a 2.5 card combo because you do need a card in your hand that you can pitch for this combo. Here we're gonna use Spriggan's Kit, but it can literally be anything, right? It doesn't matter what it is. In fact, if it's a Dragon Monster, it's even better, but let's just say it's not a Dragon Monster, right? It's Spriggan's Kit here. What you're gonna do, of course, as always, starting off with your Buster Well. And the best thing about this combo as well is if you already have a prologue in your hand, you can start this off to bait out an Ash and then Brandon Fusion is good to go, right? So that's kind of the nice part about this. But what we're going to do here is we're going to set the prologue. doesn't really matter. We're going to use the Brandon Fusion and Brandon Fusion is actually going to set up something really powerful here. So we're going to make the Lubelion and we're going to be using our Albaz, but we're also going to be using the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. And this is an extra deck lock. So we're going to be able to set up an extra deck lock with this combo. So here what we're going to do is we're going to make the Lubelion. Then we're going to use the Lubelion effect, of course, to pitch our Spriggan's Kit to summon our Mirror Jade using itself as well as the Albaz. So here we're going to have a Mirror Jade and then we're going to pass our turn with just the Mirror Jade, okay? So now, because we didn't pitch a Dragon, you guys have to do this a little bit weird. If you guys do pitch a Dragon though, you don't have to do this weird, but I'm going to show you guys in a second why it kind of is a little bit different. So you could just honestly on your turn use the effect to banish your own monster to get a Dragon in the graveyard. You don't want to do that though. What you want to do here is uh, you're going to wait till your opponent commits to a monster on the board, right? So 
let's say your opponent normal summons a monster it doesn't matter what it is they normal summon a monster they're going to use the effect it doesn't matter what you're going to do now it doesn't matter if they've resolved the effect whatever you need to get a dragon in the graveyard that is your priority right now so you're going to send the albion over here it doesn't really matter what you send as long as you have a dragon in the graveyard to banish this card that they summoned right so that's one disruption right over there okay so whatever they're going to search a card doesn't matter what they search now you have a dragon in your graveyard so what you're going to be able to do is you're going to use your prologue now at this point and you're going to be able to dump your sword memories as well as your buster blader to summon the synchro buster dragon and the reason this is important is because this is going to help set up your extra deck lock what you're going to do now is because you have the extra dragon in your graveyard again you need the extra dragon and again that's why i said if you can pitch a dragon earlier it's even better but if you don't pitch a dragon you can still do the combo because you're going to banish the buster blader and you're going to banish the albion you need to have this in your graveyard so you're going to banish the albion over here and then you're going to be able to summon your buster dragon now quick effect buster dragon over here i think i said buster dragon here earlier buster blader i meant but buster dragon what can do as a quick effect is it can target your buster blader and equip a card from the graveyard to it and the card you're going to want to equip is our dragon buster destruction sword because while it's equipped it has the effect where your opponent cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck now you've skill drain lock them you have the mirror jade disruption and you have a full extra deck lock all with just brand infusion and buster whelp and any other card to pitch but this is how crazy it is and again you pitch a dragon, you don't even have to shotgun the mirror jade. You can hold on to the mirror jade. But if you don't pitch a dragon, you can still do it this way and it works perfectly fine. That's how broken these combos are, bro. They're pretty insane. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Those are the insane Buster Blader combos that my boy Alpha put together. And honestly, bro, like you guys can see, it can set up some pretty insane boards. And not a lot of decks are prepared to kind of out these kind of boards, which is insane, right? And if you guys want to watch the deck profile full explanation on his channel, you guys can check it out. I'll leave a link at the top of the description. Big shout out to my boy Alpha again for letting me use this and showing it off to you guys and actually show you guys how powerful this deck can be. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We're uploading every single day in the month of December, so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.